I'm live 331 here and hoo, 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 hoo. things are getting bad, son. And if you didn't think they were bad before, oh my God, I don't know what to tell you, bro. We thought we saw the, the bottom of the, of the of the floor. We were falling out the plane and we thought we saw the ground. But unfortunately, you're about to splat when you see what's going down at Walmart. And this is why you should never work there, ever. You should just be a street peddler. That's what you should do. Don't do the Walmart thing. Do anything. Stand on the side of the road saying, please, for the love of God, I have four kids and I need free money because I ain't working at Walmart. And that might work. To be honest, we live in a weird time. But I'm going to go through everything going on at Walmart right now and some crazy ass messages from some crazy ass people just trying to survive. And I need you to do me a favor. I'm shadow banned, so like it, share it, comment down below, say what your experience is. Have you ever seen anything crazy there? I bet you have. Follow me down in Locals and let's jump right into this naughty, naughty sauce. So we're going to jump right into it. It says, hey, Walmart, why did you fire the little old lady who's been there for years and not the man who had a book of harassment reports submitted to upper management? Now, this is, dude, this is very, very common. Lesson number one to all the folks out there in the, the YouTube land. There are a lot of men, all right? A lot of men and some women. I've had some stories from some higher up women. But a lot of men that will do some heinous stuff and they won't get fired, all right? Because they got, I guess they have lawyers or teams of lawyers and stuff, and they've been there for a long time. They're old as hell. They won't get fired. They'll get transferred after doing something. It says, I'm fuming. Johnson, Johnsburg Walmart store 1377. This old lady, she kept getting into, into it with this guy named Alec in the deli. And instead of firing the guy who works with the majority women who has repeatedly harassed, literally from his first month, it's been over six months, they fired the old woman who's been there for years for getting into it with them. The store manager, Dominic, was literally hovering, hovering around the deli at one point because of how bad the harassment got. Oh my gosh. The coach doesn't even bother to stick around. She just yells at him and goes away. Makes sense. <laughs> and I mean, we can go read the comments, boys, and there's going to be a thousand. It says, we had an assistant manager get harassment complaints from cashiers. He was moved from store to store. Dude, I'm telling you, it is like clockwork with this place. We're just going to move him. Oh my gosh. We had a female associate who was grabbed by a male associate. She was transferred out of store weeks after complaining. The guy is still employed here. Hot diggity damn. It sounds like it happens everywhere. Dude, it, you can just keep going. It took... Me and 12 other associates to get one associate fired after a period of two years and eight months. Dude, it never ends. It never ends. So if you're a small little girl working at Walmart, or you're a effeminate small man, I guess, I don't know. All right, it's 2023. I'm trying to be inclusive. These dudes are wild, and Walmart's not going to give them any repercussion. All right, they're just free to grab and squeeze, and I, I, I don't want to grab and squeeze. But what's worse than being and squeeze and grab? Probably nothing, but like, check this out. It says, was the only cart push pusher here today. Management weren't happy. I didn't bring them all in at once. Both my coworkers called out today, so I was left alone for my entire shift doing the best I could. In my final hour, my team lead comes over and says to make sure to get all the carts before I go. I tell him, all right, thinking he just means to do the best I can because it's a rush happening. There's no way I can get all these carts. While the end of my shift arrives, team lead comes out and scolds me for not literally getting all the carts back inside. Brushing aside that I've been alone all day and people are actively coming in and out to try harder. I get that once I'm gone, there's effectively no one else to bring in carts. They didn't hire enough people, to be honest. But at the same time, I'm literally not even full time and I did damn well considering I've had no help from anyone. Am I just too damn dumb for expecting common sense or am I wrong for not going even harder? Are all Walmarts in Virginia like this? They just, they expect the world. They expect the world. It says your team lead should have tried to help you get clear of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it should be, right? He should have his happy ass out there doing something. Right here. It doesn't stop, boys. We keep going. It's wildfire, boys. I had been with my girlfriend for what was three years. I've been living with her and everything. She passed yesterday morning, and I was the one to find her. Oof. That's rough, man. I use my bereavement hoping I could find some sort of peace in a minimum of three days they give, but that's just impossible. I only have enough PPTO for one day, and my manager was asking me over email if I needed to use that for the day I found her and asking if I would be coming in tomorrow. Are you shitting me? I was hoping to use my PPTO for her birthday because her friends and family were planning to celebrate her life. Wow, bro. I love how they're like, hey, can you be there tomorrow? P.S. If any of you know someone who suffers from seizures, please give them enough attention and love them with all your heart. Man, I tell you what, I've, I've made jokes about it in the past that you could literally pass away and at your funeral, your, your, your team lead will come from Walmart and 
ask you why you're not there today. I've made that joke in the past, and it's not far from reality. It says, yesterday, my phone started acting up, and it's been acting up ever since. However, in the last three months, it's been acting up even worse. I go to my people lead for help, and she directs me to the X cover tech support number. I calmly explain to her that I have been on the phone with them six times in the last two months, an hour or two at a time, and nothing's changed. She cuts me off, brushed my concerns aside, and rather rudely told me to just call the number. I was in the middle of dialing the number when I calmly and respectfully told her I make $15 an hour and I'm already working six departments. Bakery, deli, commercial, bread, meat, produce, and 97. I don't have time, nor do I get paid to sit on the phone with these folks for two hours at a time, two to three times a month. That's when she flipped the hell out and yelled, I'm not here to listen to complaints. Get out of my office. As the people lead store level HR person, isn't that technically part of her job is to listen, field concerns and complaints? And to be clear, I wasn't complaining about the workload. I was complaining about having to call the number again and do another factory reset on my phone that doesn't fix anything. So yeah, she yelled at me for no reason and pissed me off. So I stormed out of the room to keep from saying something that would get me fired. Here it comes, boys. End of the day rolls around and my coach pulls me to the back and has a yellow coaching waiting for me in the system. Apparently, the store manager gave the directive for me to be coached for respect for the individual, even though I got disrespected. Because apparently, the people lead text that are called him on his day off and only gave half the story, played the victim, and made it look like I was an asshole when I did nothing wrong. So today, I'm going to call Open Door and fight it. Good luck. I've never been one to rock the boat, as they say, but today, if the Open Door doesn't go well and my coaching isn't removed at the very least, she isn't reprimanded or coached too, I've decided that not only... Am I going to rock the boat? I'm going to capsize it and go above him, even if it means bringing corporate in. I've taken a couple of write-ups that I didn't deserve in the past, but not this time. I'm at the end of my rope. And what have I got to lose? I feel like they're already targeting me, given how this went down. Wish me luck. Yeah. Um, when you call higher-ups like that, HR, things like that, usually they're not on your side. They're there to protect upper management, higher management, and field management, and lawsuits that are aimed at them. So I do wish you good luck, but I don't see anything coming out of it. Um, but hey, more power to you. Associate fired for standing in a milk crate. Our best dairy worker just got fired on the spot for standing on a milk crate to get something off the top shelf. She did not know this was a safety violation. Instead of warning her, even coaching her, she was immediately fired. Meanwhile, managers force those on cap two to lay out multiple pallets right next to each other so they are technically and literally forced to walk on the pallets during truck because there's physically no other way to get to them. I'm so sick of this crap. They literally make us commit safety violations yet fire another associate the same way. Well, uh, they were trying to get rid of her. That was why that happened. They were trying to get rid of her. 100% across the board. Easy to, I can tell you right, right now. <laughs> Next, got yelled at twice today for being on the company phone on the Walmart app, by the way. Got yelled out twice to get off my phone while using the Walmart provided phone while on the app. The first time happened while I was uh, taking a cart to an aisle, and the second time walking to the back room with the cardboards before lunch. I'm literally using the phone for work related purposes, and I'm still getting yelled at. Is this something I can be written up for? I'm getting super tired of the constant shouting and micromanager. Man, I tell you what, if it's a company phone, they better lay the hell off immediately. When I worked at Walmart, okay, I had like ASM managers yelling at me, and I was a I was a market manager. I had like 12 stores, and they would yell at me, and I'm like, what are you doing? And it's almost as if they have no idea what the chain of command is. And to be honest, there isn't really one. The ASMs are yelling at everybody. They're yelling at the other ASMs. The ASMs are yelling at the co-managers. The co-managers yelling at the ASMs, and they're also yelling at the store manager and the market manager. Dude, it's it's awful. And everybody's saying different things and how to do different things. One manager will tell you, hey, this is how you should do this. And then another manager will tell you the difference. And then you're still going to get in trouble no matter what you do. So that's kind of like what it is at Walmart. And, and also, by the way, by the way, working at Walmart, you're going to see things like this. Check this out right here, dude. And what are you allowed to do? Why is she crawling get on the, the, the produce? Michelle, get down. What is she doing? Get Michelle, get down. What is she you gotta deal with it? You gotta deal with this at Walmart. Having this big old round lady up on the damn produce. You have to throw it all away. Cause you know, you know she hadn't bathed. And look, I'm gonna put this out there, guys. If a worker goes over there and tries to take her off the produce, they're fired. They're fired. Michelle, get down. Damn, I'm Michelle, leaving. what are you doing? I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. Bye. Then get the fuck. Get what down. is she doing? <laughs> Michelle, get down. I don't get it, man. Get down. I just don't get it. She's just relaxing get on the produce, up. man. Michelle, you're going to get locked up. Get down. She just wants to be on the produce. You got to deal with that, guys.
You got to deal with that. Oh, by the way, you also have to deal with this. Oh, look, she's licking the ice cream. Oh, he's licking the ice cream. Oh, guess what? You got to deal with that as well. All right. And keep in mind, this has happened several times. Several times. You can see it right here. I'll pull up another. I don't know why this is a tree. This is. There's an issue where people that are doing TikTok stuff to get freaking arrested. Look, he licking the ice cream. By the way, he got sentenced to a year in prison for that. Um, and then this lady, uh, we all remember this one. We all remember this one, boys. This lady, she was facing up to like 20 years in prison. I don't remember. I don't know what she eventually got sentenced to. But dude, you have to deal with so much garbage, not only from customers, but from your management, from HR, from every every damn direction is hitting you in the face like you're that one little tiny white girl in that one you know adult film where she's on the couch and there's like six dark men behind her that's you at walmart working it's a stupid video i know look guys i'm i'm off my game right now please someone do something don't work at walmart those are all the examples of why to stay the hell away if you're thinking about it don't stop go to taco bell you may get more diarrhea but at least you'll be a little bit happier thank you guys so much make sure you share this video make sure you tell your friends about it if you work at walmart please comment down below your craziest story so i can make a video about your goofy ass and get the hell on it diggity dog on it i love you i appreciate you bye yeah